Hello and welcome to a new playthrough of Conan Exiles. And we're on the main map. Just down here in the... Uh, what's it called? Oh, I've gained a level already. <laughs> yes, called the Broken Highway down here. There's quite a few Broken Highway locations in the desert. And this is where you end up when you start the game. And also if you die without putting down a bedroll or a bed, you'll find yourself back here. But yeah, if you've been following my adventure so far, you'll know that I had terrible trouble with saves on my last PS5 game. Yeah, the PS5 would keep crashing when I shut the game down. And sometimes, even when I restarted the game, it would crash then. And as a consequence, I was losing stuff left, right and centre. So we decided the best thing to do was just to reinstall the game completely. And hopefully everything will behave itself now. So this is going to be quite interesting for me because I've not um, actually started the game while this new system is in place. So we've got this new journey system. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. It used to be that there were just 100 journey steps that you ticked off in no particular order. But now we've got these like skill trees that we've got to go through. That should be quite fun. So we're on the survivor one here in the top left. Yeah, take your first steps. Investigate the smoke, search for supplies, eat and drink. So anyway, we'll crack on, because what we've got to do is head in that direction, up to the river. So we are now facing the river. Yes, yeah, so we'll get there quite soon. But first we want to look at this, I imagine. This is what we normally do in the game. Hello, take our first steps. Press to interact. Behold, bonded one, the very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways lie the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Oh, and they do indeed, and the city is this thing over here, this big red lump. That's the unnamed city. And yeah, various roads lead to it, as the stone says. Yeah, this stone was put here by the giant kings who built the unnamed city, and it's just giving us a little bit of information. It's like a tourist kiosk, really. Anyway, this is new. This never used to be here. Right, investigate the smoke. Look at the scabby old vulture flying off. And we can look around for things to steal, I guess. Nothing on you. Anything in there? Oh, we've got a nice chest. Let's loot all. Search for supplies. That's another step completed. Yeah, we ought to find a water skin around here somewhere. There's usually one lurking on a rock. But when I started my last playthrough, I completely missed it. Here it is. Here it is. Right, so we got a sealed water skin. And we can read this note. I am beaten, left to rot among the ruins of the past. Let's try and find a thumbnail. There are others here, slaves, bandits and cannibals, exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence. This cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Oh, I think we've got a good idea. I think we've got a good idea are standing here in our filthy rags. Um, yeah, what we ought to do now is start picking up rocks. Yeah, so the ghost wall he was talking about is this wall that surrounds the exiled lands. And if you're wearing a bracelet, like the one Gaudia is wearing on her left wrist, it means that as soon as you go through the ghost wall, you drop dead, essentially. So don't do that. That's the take-home message. Let's pick up a few more rocks. Now, we should get the crap scared out of us by a giant bat creature in a minute. I think he lives up here. Uh, 
Um, the other thing we've got to do... Oh, before I forget, before I forget, the crimes that Gaudia was committed here for are... Yeah, she killed a sacred serpent. She's been corrupting the youth. That wouldn't surprise me. And she's also been put away for lecherous behaviour. Again, that would not surprise me. She's extremely naughty. Yes, yeah, a branch there. We'll pick that up. Good. So we need twigs and rocks. Or other branches. We need those to make tools. Oh, where's the... Here we go. Here we go. Here's the bat. I was starting to think he wasn't here. Some more branches. Whoa. Okay, okay. <laughs> he flies off. And we've got something else to look at. Very good. Press to interact with that. God's cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay. Yeah, more information. Our throat is dry, so let's get some water down us. Let's drink that. Okay, I thought we got a journey step from that. Did we already eat? Let's try and eat this. Right, eat and drink. Journey step completed. Good, good. We haven't leveled up yet, have we, I don't think? No. So there'll be lots of little imps around here. Some shale backs. Nothing too bad. Um, we ought to make a weapon, though. Or rather, we ought to make a hatchet. Um, right, stone hatchet. And get that going. And there's a pick there as well we can make. Good, good. We need some more branches, though. Uh, where are the branches? I could start chopping down a tree, couldn't I? Let's get some wood going. Any branches? There you go, a few branches there. Nice one. Let us make that pick. I always enjoy the start of the game, I must say. It's always quite entertaining. And we need to get some fibre to make some clothes. Because that's the journey step. So we'll just gather this bush. Yeah, I'm just pressing square here to interact. So we're getting lots of lovely insects, lots of lovely plant fibre. Come on! Oh, it's very slow. There's another step. Nice one. Let's go and make some clothing. And this will clothe us automatically, which is always quite nice. So that's crafting. That's crafting. Right. Oh, craft an armour piece. Alright, okay. Clothes count as armour these days. And we've got the trousers, the little tunic. Uh, we want to make a sword. What our level three we are. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to knowledge. Um, what we will do, we will learn construction straight away. And we shall also learn how to make a fire. So we've got one more point to spend. And we will uh, make a sword. Right, warrior. So that's a new journey unlocked. Nice one. Let's keep going. We want to make a sword quite quickly. So how do we do that? Um, there we go. And that is, right, 20 stone and 5 branches. Well, let's get the pick going. Get some stone. Well, that should be enough of that. Uh, let's make a sword. So that's blunt and brittle. Health damage 6. Bloody hell. I can make lots of stuff here, but nothing very useful at the moment. <laughs> oh, there's a skinning knife. Uh, right, I'll do that in a minute. Do that in a minute. Let's get the sword up, just in case we meet something nasty. Because we probably will. We'll pick up some more branches as we head towards the river. So now I don't really have a plan beyond sort of levelling up a little bit by this new river, as it's known. And trying to build a base somewhere. But what we can also do is steal some eggs. All right, these guys are fairly dozy. So that is a nice bit of food for us. And I think eggs give you, right, food and moisture. How strong am I? I'm not very strong at all, am I? Let's go to our attributes. Attributes here, so we've got three unspent points. Let's go to strength. 
uh, another level we've just earned. So let's put three into strength and we will put, yeah, we will put some into grit, which is stamina. Okay, and we can also kill this guy, I think. Right, oops, okay, okay. That was a tactical error. <laughs> I'd hope no one was watching. Can I just kill you? Well, not very easily. Not very easily with my rotten stone sword. Ah, uh, right, come over here, come over here. <laughs> right, and again. Right, they're all joining in now. They're all joining in. What I want to do is, though, what are, okay, the sentinels we discovered somewhere. But what I also want to do is go back and harvest that little guy. Get some feral flesh out of him. Oh, they've all buggered off already. Forgotten about me. Right, hide and feral flesh. Good. So the sentinel should be around the corner. Massive great statues. I can't see them though. I mean they're huge. Right, here's a guy we can talk to. He gives us a bit more information. Where are the sentinels? I'm pretty sure the sentinels used to be here. Huge, huge statues. Ah, oh, okay. Let's have a chat. I think this guy's name is Akros. Another new one, eh? I can smell it on you. Veterans tend to smell just a little more like despair. I'm Arcos. Once a sailor, now a wanderer. You didn't think you were the only one, did you? <laughs> you should go up north. There's whole cities of exiles up there. I guess talk some more. In the beginning, there were only a few of us. But now, it seems like fresh-faced fools are showing up every week. Not all of them are as friendly as I am, mind you. Watch your step. There are a lot of desperate people out there. Tell you what, I'm not going to carry on this conversation. Because it's a bit boring. I will learn the emote. And I'll say goodbye. Good luck, Exile. It's a tough world out there. Yeah, but he basically tells you a little bit about the world. And the fact that if you're wearing this uh, this bracelet, which seems to have gone now. <laughs> yeah, the glove is hiding the bracelet. He just basically tells you about the ghost wall and not to go through it. And he also, I think, happens to mention Sepamaru, which is a city of NPCs up here. It's all rather exciting. I can't understand where the Sentinels have gone, though. I'm sure they used to be here. That's so weird. Now, what I want to try and do is take on a couple of mini-bosses here. Let's take some water first, because they might drop some decent armour. And there's also other exiles I can attack. Uh, we can try taking down this crocodile, can't we? Oh, and I can do something else. I can make some aloe, some healing stuff. Ah, oh, we've been running past aloe. I've not been collecting it. There it is. There's some aloe. Let's gather this up. Good, good, good. Let's go back here. Let's make the healing. Uh, make three of those. Ah, very slow. In my last playthrough, I had crafting really speeded up. <laughs> and I'm starting to notice how much I did have it speeded up by. But I won't change it for the time being. There's no point, really. Let's see if we can get this guy. All right, run away, run away. Wait for him to jump. You're going to jump at me. Well, make up your mind. All right, there we go, there we go. Oh, all right, I'll lock on, I think. We'll have to lock on. Oh, he's really speeded up this one, hasn't he? A few more. A few more. Damn it. Okay. There's a big old bite out of my leg. Come away. Stop locking on. Uh, I'll have to make a shield. A few more. One more. Oh, Alright, because stamina's out. Stamina's out. Alright, he missed me that time. Ooh, gained a level. Nice. It's very exciting at this stage of the game. <laughs> you soon become rather blasé about uh, getting levels. So I've got fangs and some bone. We won't turn my nose up at it. Well, we should start seeing some NPCs hanging about. Let's get some more aloe. Shellbacks. 
Nothing to bother us. More eggs. We'll take the eggs. There we go. Nice. It used to be that stealing the eggs would really annoy them, but they don't seem to notice now. It's a bit strange, really, isn't it? I'd get quite irritated if people stole my eggs. Take this. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll see if I can get up to level 10 at least in this playthrough, or rather this first episode, and then give it a rest from there. But I still haven't decided where to build a base. All right, here we go, here we go, here's some guys. There's normally like three of them. That's another journey step. It's attack you! All right, run away, run away, run away, faster than that. Oh, right, I don't like these spears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've bitten off a little more than I can chew, I think. All right, okay, yeah, they're engaged there now. Nice. Let's get in there, see if we can take advantage of this. Excellent. And yo. Come on. Nice one. Gains another level. Right, I can hear aggro music. Nothing came for me though. Got lots of stuff here. What did you have? Take it all, whatever it is. Over encumbered crap. Right, I don't want that. I do want a hatchling. I don't want that head. Uh, okay, that's got us back down. I will steal your hide and your flesh. Yeah, nice. Oh, you had some arrows. Bloody millionaires, these guys. Where's the other one? There was another one, wasn't there? <laughs> it's another little mystery of the game. Can I make a shield? Let's see if we can make a shield. Right, I've got to buy that, don't I, I think? So let's go to knowledge. Here we go, there's a little wooden shield there. Well, I can make a bone shield as well, I think. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, a bone shield would be better, but I haven't got enough bone. Um, I can make a wooden shield, but I need lots of string. So we need... Um, right, more fibre. So let's go and get some over here. We can tear this bush apart. Good, good. Let's go back here. Get some string going. That's nice and fast. Then we should have enough wood to make the shield, surely. There we go. Craft that, please. And then we can put that onto our quick menu. And also make some more aloe. More aloe potion. There we go. Six of those. Very welcome. Very welcome indeed. Right, I can see an imp or two. Let's take them down. Imps are disgusting, really. Ooh, okay, they're quite tough. <laughs> They're not. Oh, I'm okay. I'm defeating him. That must be a challenge. But we've completed the battle pass. We have completed it. Oh, look at this. This guy's going to kill me. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, gains another level. We have completed the battle pass, haven't we? Oh, hang on. Okay, no, we've got everything. We've got everything. So we don't need to worry about that. What I will do, I will take a little bit of aloe potion. Just get my health back. Oh, there's more of these guys. I won't. Um, what we need to do, though, is bulk up our health, I think. Uh, I might as well take you down since you're here. Right, this guy's going to explode. Well, he was trying to. The little red ones blow up. They do blow up. So there should be like a mini boss along here that we can hopefully take down. Let's allocate some points, though. So we've got three points. Uh, put another one into grit. We can go up to the first... Um, oh, no. Yeah, no, we can do that. We can... Well, we've got heavy blows now. Heavy and special attacks deal 10% more damage. Uh, I should have put some of that into vitality, I think. But too late now. Let's get the shield up. We'll take down these fellas. Unfortunately, the people you find along the river don't tend to drop any good clobber. There we go. 
Yeah, they're quite poor. What are you doing back there now? Come on, over here. Oh, he's died. He must have had bleed on him. Thank King Yo. Right, there's usually another one. There's usually three. Can't see them. What have you got? Yeah, I'll take all that. Get a nice apron. Big old club. Gotta watch my encumbrance. Where's the third person? There's almost always a third person. So we've just discovered the shattered bridge, which is up here. Which means our mini boss is quite close. They should be on a spit of sand just over there. Nice some more imps. Right, came for me, then ran over to this guy. Let's sort him out. Like, not this one. Oh, God, I want the imp. Right, come on, shell back. Yeah, oh. Is it worth it? Let's wait for him to attack. Alright, he's just running off now. I think they want to press home attacks, really. That's more realistic, isn't it? Get some more of this. So where's the mini-boss? Right, more people. Let's be a bit smarter about this one. Right, there's definitely three there? here. Someone's coming! And again, back off, back off, back off. Darn it! Oh, let's take some healing and run off, run off. Right, you're almost dead. Oops, nice. And you. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> and again. You. Uh, oh, I won't take all that. Some of that looks awful. We'll take the skinny knife and the arrows, heating wraps. And you had some meat, more healing wraps, oh, and the arrows. Um, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Let's eat some of that food. Uh, there we go. That's grilled steak. Mm. Where's the other person? Oh, there they are. Hiding like a coward. Down you go. Right, nice stuff. Excellent. Got a nice little um, scimitar, I think. Which am I call it? Falaka. That's going to be a great improvement on what I've got. So that's health damage 30. Excellent. Just in time. Because we want to take down the guy who lives around here. Oh. There they are, over there. I say guy, it's sometimes a gal. And then when we finish with this person, we will go over there and learn the religion of Yog. Because the religion I learned when I started the game was Krom. And it's quite useless learning Krom. Because Krom doesn't give you any advantages at all. But it's the only religion you can't learn in the game. So if you want to get all the gods, you need to choose Krom when you start. Hi fella. Yeah, okay, let's get in there. Oh, bloody hell, that was really easy. <laughs> and just for some arrows, Mr. Kroth one blow. I thought I'd be taking my life in my hands, taking him on. Obviously not. So we'll go over here. Right, there's more NPCs all over the place. Hopefully we'll get lucky again, get some nice stuff. But with this sword, we should be able to take the guys down very easily. Let's get the shield up. Look, straight down. Uh, I will take your pike. I like the pike. Oh! <laughs> Snuck up on me, madam. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Take all of that, really. Uh, I'm going to have to start chucking stuff, though. What can I throw away? I mean, this meat isn't going to last a very long, is it? Uh, let's just drop it. Um, we got how many clubs we got? got that stone club. Do I want a stone club? I've got me pike. Is that another pike there? Yeah. Um, let's drop that one. 
We'll put that into our armory. We'll replace that flesh. Because this is a very good weapon. I do enjoy the pike. Because you can keep your distance and deal quite a lot of damage with this. But we'll go up here. We'll learn the Yog religion. And then we'll see about this. Okay, okay. Yeah, look, some of them are quite belligerent, like these two. I don't know why that is. Can we take them on? Right, we're not doing too well here. <laughs> right, come on, come away, come away. I don't want to get killed by a shale back. I do not want that. Ah, oh, take some healing. Oh, yeah. If there was just one, I'd take him on. All right, okay then. They heard me. Being challenged now. Let's get him. Back off, back off. Run away a little bit. Uh, I don't want to use the Falaka too much. I want to try and keep that. Right, this is going quite well now. It's the kind of fighting I enjoy. Repeatedly jabbing them up the posterior. Fast as my stamina will allow. Come on. Can you just die, please? Oh, Lord. Have you recovered? Have you recovered? Yes, he has. Damn. Right, it's a lot easier doing them from the front, isn't it? Okay, there's three now. Oh, God. Run up here. <laughs> Take on the whole family. And you. All right, bollocks. Well, you must be dead soon. Just get in there. What about you? Okay, you're almost dead. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that. I want these guys now. There's actually no point taking them down, apart from a bit of XP, but... They've angered me. Back away, back away. I definitely need more stamina. Come away, come away. Right, two's enough, two's enough. Let's just get on our toes and be up the hill. Now there is a little sort of cave around here we could get on the map. Full of imps. Where is it? Oh, it's a crystal in here as well. Here we go, here we go. Crist yeah, I can hear them. Ooh, that's new, I think. There's quite a few of them, isn't there? And get yo! Oh no, get him! Oh god. Let's have a look. Right, let's take some healing first. I like the sounds they make. <laughs> it sounds like they've all got horrible indigestion. Okay, good. Right, we're doing this imp challenge, aren't we? Cavern of Fiends. Did you get anything for crystal? No. Let's come out. Don't really want anything in there. I think there's just a bunch of imps and the crystal. I don't think there's anything else. Another level. Right, this will blow me up one. Get him. Damn. They could probably do me quite a lot of damage, considering my level at the moment. And I'm level 9 already, damn. I think that's one of the problems with the game, is that you level up really quickly. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get rid of this. Don't need that yet. Uh, what else do we want? Now, let's carry on. Oh, what I was going to do was going to make my own pike. Can I make that, or do I have to buy that? I might have to buy that knowledge. Let's go over to knowledge. And look under, right, bone claws we could make. I like claws. Got a spear, let's buy that. Um, have we already learned that? Oh no, there it is. So this is bruiser, and that teaches us the stone wall, the pike, and a two-handed sword. Good, um, I quite like the stabbing daggers, the claws. Let's see if we can make those. 
Have I got enough bone? I need 30 bones. How many have I got? I've got, I've got 9 bones. Oh, I thought I had more than that. But if we go along here, we should see some ghosts. Where's the little ghost camp? Here it is. Yep, press to interact. Not, not that. Come on. Oh, don't interact with that, please. Right, the Ophirian Journal. I will not read that, and I've learnt a new emote submissive. Yeah, I won't read it. I'll leave you to read it if you want to. They're very good though, all the journals, I do enjoy them. But we want to go up here and learn this religion. So this should be Nunu the Cannibal lives up here. We'll go and say hello. Again, I won't indulge myself with a long interview. We'll just say hello, then learn the religion and move on. Try and find this other boss. Hi fella. Shaman's rise. Hello Nunu. Stay your hand, stranger. Come, look into the pit. The Lord of Empty Abodes awaits therein. I am his shaman, Nunu. Your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. It certainly was. <laughs> but we're not here to natter. We will learn this emote, which is cheer. And we will also learn Acolyte of Yog. Listen to the whisperings. Yog knows you. Okay, good. I'm glad about that. Yeah, this is an altar of Yog. It's all very exciting, isn't it? So, these guys are cannibals, if you'd not guessed by the name. But that's quite a good altar to make. Because you get this sort of... Um, this flesh, this meat, that never goes off. You also get the blessing of Yog. I'm not really sure what that is, but never mind. Right, here's another one of these stones. I will interact with this. Slave, war maker Clael has ordered the sealing of the borders, including the destruction of the bridge. This is to discourage your treacherous kin from entering our lands. For hundreds of years we have patiently welcomed your people into our lands, and our kindness was repaid with war. No more, bonded one. You will break the bridge, and as you do, think about the consequences of betrayal. Think about what your people have done to you. Okay, yeah, so these are all voices from the past. And that is the bridge he was talking about, this broken bridge. And we've got some ghosts hanging about. Where are they? Yeah, there's some ghosts that appear here and walk down to the fire. There's the ghosts again. So yeah, you quite often find ghosts that will lead you to interesting things. Let's go around the corner. So the guy we want is on the other side of the river here. So where we are, is there and this is a very convenient route for getting north so that's my normal favored route to getting to the cold north but let's come down here and run across so this other boss should be over there and we'll use the phalacra on them but i'm hoping to get like a, a nice piece of armor or something where are ya? Thank you. There he is. Let's get the flacker up. And the shield. You can have anything nice. God take you! She looks fierce, doesn't she? Okay. Are you going to be tougher than the last one? She might be. Okay. One more swing, that's all you've got. Oh, damn it! Alright, oh, actually fairly feeble. Fairly feeble. Right, boots, let's put those on. Got a nice two-handed sword, I'll take all of that. Uh, let's get the boots. I was hoping for a bit more than that, but never mind. <laughs> I won't turn my nose up. So my armour is now, right, 60. Heavy, it says. Is that my total for armour? I'm guessing so, yeah. So that's the two bosses I was going to take down. What should we do next? 
there are some proper camps upriver. We'll go and take a few of those down, I think, because we might get some good loot out of them. We seem to be aggroing people again. I'm sure it used to be like this all the time in Conan Exiles. And then a lot of the shellbacks turned into like pacifists. But I'm glad to see some of them are more belligerent again. Oh, there's a croc. Oh, look at this. You fight him, you get the spear up, the pike. That's it, that's it. Enjoy. Damn it. Back away. Get you. Crocodile is dead. Stab and stab. Right, broken. <laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing. Uh, let's get in with this. Let's get in with the sword. We'll keep the flacker. Phew e. Okay, let's put some points into grit, for God's sake. Thank you. Because my stamina is dreadful. Let's take some healing. Glug, glug. Uh, get the shields up again. So we want to try and find some bone. And these guys usually have a lot of bone on them. Or in their chests, anyway. Come away, come away. There he goes. There's an archer over there. Ignore him. Get this woman. Thank you. And you can come down as well. Hey. Right, light attacks. Let's go in. Okay, okay, okay. Bollocks! <laughs> I don't believe it. You cheeky bastard. You cheeky, cheeky bastard. Right, I'm going to respawn back in the desert. Oh. Right, I was really cocky then, wasn't I? Yeah, I was, was killed by a Zamorian exile, tier one. How embarrassing. Ah, well, I'm glad this is a single player game, really. Because if any other player had seen that, I think I would die of embarrassment. <laughs> How ridiculous. But we're not too far away, are we? We're not too far away. We'll just go and run and retrieve our stuff. Yeah, just over there. Right, so I'll cut around this bit. Yeah, I'm just on my way to find my body. And uh, yeah, this bloody game is saying gather branches, journey step completed. And before that it said gather stones, journey step completed. So, you know, I did that ages ago. I don't really understand what's going on. Yeah, I'm doing this just to make a few tools. Because I've got to fight my way to my body. And I really need to make myself a sword and a new shield before I do that. So I'll gather those things on the way. And when I go back to that little camp, I should be sort of partially prepared. Let's get some fibre. Right, gradually getting there. Multiple journeys unlocked. Don't know what that means. Yeah, I just picked up a level. But the game is misbehaving. Because I want to make myself a, a single-handed sword. And I've got more than enough stone to do it. But the game is not letting me. Oh, look at these guys. I'm not going to fight you. We'll run over here. Okay, so that mini-boss has respawned. I could try taking them on again, couldn't I? Um, but I can't make this um, single-handed sword. Look, I've got the branches. This is only 20 stone and I've got... Okay, I've only got 16 stone. Okay, so just me being stupid in that case. I thought I had much more than that. <laughs> I do apologise. I'm just slandering the game. There we go. We could try and take that guy down again, couldn't we? That mini boss. Where did they go? Oh, they're over there fighting the shellback. Let's see if we can get some nice armour this time, not just a pair of boots. But I do think it was getting the pair of boots that increased my confidence, you know, to critical levels of stupidity. Over here. Get ourselves sorted out. Ah, uh, no, I need to bring that sword up. Thanking you. There's another young lady, I think. 
Hello, alright, spear, or pike rather. They're very unpleasant. Okay. Damn it! Okay, I think you're too tough. Oh, I'm run, run away, run away! <laughs> God, okay, he's distracted, thank God. Oh, look at this. I'll make some potion, though. No, pikes are too bad. Now, she's very dangerous. All right, let's run away. Oh, these fellas again. Run away from the horrid woman. Uh, let's get some more healing down us. Right, another crocodile. All right, they would get distracted by that. Good. So we're going to find our body. Now, my concern is that if I pick up all my stuff, I'm going to be over encumbered. So I'm going to have to take these guys down with the stuff that I've got. Uh, yeah. Come, all right, she's got a spear. Or a pike. Get in there. Back off. Oh, she's just run off. <laughs> I never wanted to be here. <laughs> Neither did I. Well, that's a lie, really. So she just scarpered. Now she's coming back again. They're coming. Who's coming? Thank you. All right, I think... Okay. Another pike guy. This is how it should be, isn't it? That's it. That's how it should be. Take your arrows. You had, oh, did I take your stuff? I can't remember now. She might have had arrows. Oh, right, another tanner with uh, an apron. What I will do, I'll take your arrows and that. Find my body. Uh, right, cook. Get your arrows too. Where's my body? Where is it? Look at the map. Well, according to this, it should be just around here. Where's it gone? I mean, that's not me, is it? That's strange. Oh, I'm over there. I can see myself now. Uh, let's take all this. We'll take a fibre bedroll. Take that. Uh, I won't take the repair kit. Might be a bit heavy. I want a rawhide bedroll. Well, we'll put those down somewhere. That'll mean that I don't end up in the desert all the time. It's loot all. Over encumbered, as expected, by quite a lot. Craft a stone pick. Yeah, we did that ages ago, game. We did that ages ago. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Don't need... Oh, look, I've got a hunting bow. We've got a nice Hykernian bow. Get rid of the extra clothes. And that. Don't need that. That can go... Want me eggs? Want the eggs? Um, Two-handed sword. Get rid of that one. Right, we're getting there slowly. What else can I dump? Oh god! All oh, this is quite useful at this stage. You see, got some seeds. Don't need all that fiber. Get rid of the wood. Insects can go. Stone. Jesus H. I'm I'm going to regret this. Those arrows are quite heavy. I'm surprised. Get rid of these arrows. Right, we're down. We are down. So let's get the flacker up again. Let's find it first. Sort of these, get rid of the trousers. Put those silly boots on. Now there are more camps up here. So the idea is that I will sort of rob those too. What happened to my flacker? I don't really understand that. Let's get rid of this. Pick up that. Let's get going again. Yeah, there's a camp up here that's sort of fairly substantial. And I'm wondering whether I'm strong enough to take it on. What we could do is get this bow going. Use some of these arrows. So we've loaded the bow. Get rid of that bee. We don't really want that. Get around the corner. There's a big spider cave around here we don't want to go into. There are people down here, yeah. Uh, I, mm. Right, I will get the stone sword up. Let's get the two-handed one up. 
<laughs> nice bit of area damage. Okay, over here, please. Damn it! Right, bloody pikemen. Hate them. Oh. My arrows, go on. I won't take any more arrows. I'm tired of arrows. <laughs> Had a nice pike. I'll take that. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right, have we got some points to put away? Is there anything to rob around here? I don't see anything. What I ought to do is find somewhere to put down a bedroll. If we do that around the corner, we should be able to do it here, more or less. Just the... Oh, no, not next to those bloody crocodiles. We could do it here, couldn't we? Let's put one down. Let's take the fibre bedroll. Uh, stick it there. Put it on the ground. Come on. Fibre bedroll, please. There it is. Spawn point updated. Excellent. Uh, let's have some meat. Get rid of those horrid shoes. And strike. Don't need two skidding knives. Uh, I will keep the rest, though. Keep the rest for the time being. What would happen if I took these crocs on? Well, that really worked for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's working to an extent. Not hugely successful, though. What I could do is lead these guys up here. Because this is where the other camp is. There's some spiders. Okay, yeah, the spiders are probably quite dangerous at my level. The crocs are coming. The crocs are coming. There's another spider. You lot fight amongst yourselves. That's it. Good crocs. Well, I think they've given up on the spiders. Have they? Oh, no, they're still doing it. They're still going. Right, this isn't good. Oh, darn it. Um, i take some more healing. Over here. I don't want to use my flacker on them. But they're dead. Oh, I thought he was dead. No, obviously not. They are very close to it, though. Let's go over here. Darn it. Oh, this one is really eager, isn't he? Damn it! Will you please just die? Right, two down is you. I'm not going to take any chances, though. <laughs> and again, and again, and again. Oh, please, just kill him. Thank the Lord. Uh, have we got any points to put into attributes? Uh, let's increase our vitality. That might help a little bit. So we'll go up here. We will get the flacker up this time. Oh, I've got two shields on. Um, let's get rid of one of those. Let's get the club up. Swap him out. How does that work? Um, get rid of the shield. Oh, how am I going to do this? Put it on? No, okay, I'm stuck with two for the time being. This has happened to me in the past. I'm not sure how I solved it though. No closer. Oh, it wasn't <laughs> supposed to be like this. <laughs> oh, he's got a nice sword as well. Take that. Good. Yeah, we should be plenty lethal enough here, I think. Oh, there's the spiders. There's another ghost. I don't really want to tangle with these fellas, but okay, it gains another level. <laughs> We must be up to 11 or something like that. Ah! Excellent. Uh, right, we're running out of healing though, aren't we? Well, I've got loads of aloe. So let's craft up some potions. And then I think we'll make ourselves a little fire. And then sort of think about just ending the episode. But we've made quite a good start, haven't we? Apart from dying, obviously. Okay, so over there is where the humans are. Let's try and lead the crocs over. Take some more healing. Let's try and get the crocs involved in this action.
Look, lovely humans. Lovely humans to eat. Flesh terror falls. Nice. Come on, guys. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. No, not after me. After them. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Darn it. So they took care of the crocs really easily. She's down, as you can tell. Didn't really need to tell you about that, did I? Uh, we can get this safari going. Some wall paints there. Talk to these fellas. Got a croc attack up here. You had oh look at this, lots of nice Defari stuff. We'll take all of that. Got some bones. That's what we really wanted, wasn't it? Over encumbered, over encumbered. Don't panic. Oh crap! No, don't do that. Point the other way, you stupid bastard. I've just got to back off. I over encumbered. I know that. I know. Look, I'm dying. Oh no, I don't want to die again. Let's go down as far as we can. <laughs> oh, so greedy. So greedy. That's it. Go away. Go away. Right, this one wants me. This shield isn't going to last much longer, I don't think. <laughs> Bloody shield broke, just as I said it. Right, let's go back to the bedroll. Come on, the bedroll's just down there. Tafari Carpenter, Tier 2. How horrible. Well, what we can do, we can run along here. Uh, we could probably climb up there, couldn't we? Have we got the stamina to climb up there? Um, is it worth it? Probably not. Run round before everything respawns. Did that respawn down there? I don't think so. Spiders, no. Right, we're fine for the time being. Our body should be halfway up. Oh, there we go. Let's get all that. Over encumbered, yeah, of course. Um, only by three. Let's put on that neck piece, that uh, necklace. And the loincloth. That's going to be better than what we've got. So we've got 97. And have we got anything else useful? Right, those skin greaves aren't going to be useful. Get rid of the other stuff, though. Get rid of the bee. Um, ah, that rotten old shield's gone. Am I still over-encumbered? I am. Dump those arrows. Take some healing. Don't really need the rawhide. Um, and we should be okay now, shouldn't we? So let's... Oh, the shield broke. It's rather fetching outfit, isn't it? So what we need to do is get some... I threw away the hatchet, did I? Did I throw away the hatchet? I think I did. <laughs> we don't need the apron. Oh, there it is. Thought I threw it away. We'll do that. But we'll use this to cut down some trees. Get some more wood. Make ourselves another shield. Should be enough. Can't remember how much they are. Uh, wooden shield, thank you. And then we'll get that into our menu. Well, I could have just repaired that one, I suppose, couldn't I? Let's drop that one. Did that one go into my... There it is. Okay, let's take these bastards down. We want to get that carpenter, don't we? We want our revenge on him. But what we'll do, we'll kill everyone... And then loot the place. Probably more sensible, isn't it? Oh, there's quite a few people here, though. <laughs> there's quite a few of them. Okay. See, normally I wouldn't even bother about these guys. You know, level 60, you just don't care. Okay, look at this. Oh, that's one of the problems about locking on. You sort of lose control. Damn it. Let's swipe him. Thank you. 
Um, nice boots there. Probably not better than what I've got. In fact, I would say absolutely not. What are these? These are level 40, you see. That's great. Loincloth. Is that a spider? What's a taxidermid spider? I, I won't indulge. It's all the same. I will take some healing. And, yeah, arrows. Yeah, I was about to, yeah, get my arrows up, wasn't I, before I got killed the last time. Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, okay, bollocks to hell, she's really tough. Up. Damn it. I'm so weak. I'm so weak and pathetic. Run away. Run away. <laughs> What's all that over there? Oh, that's the tree falling down. Oh, God. Look at that. That's oh, I don't believe it. I didn't realise I was so vulnerable to arrows. That's ridiculous. Um, can I get the flagger up, please? Look at this bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now we've got all that, don't we? Oh, I'll take more healing. Is that guy there? Uh, another archer. Come on, let's get him. Oh, bollocks. Let's <laughs> go over here. We'll just lure them out. This is all part of a cunning strategy. Here we go, here we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, go on, let's get in there. No, okay. That didn't work. Mock onto you. No. Right, down you go. And you can go as well, miss. Oh, effing hell. Oh, nice axe. Iron war axe. That's probably better than what I've got, isn't it? I won't take... Oh, the supply materials might be good, though. Oh, over encumbered. What do we get? Loads of bone. Damn. Um, while we've got the bone, while we've got the bone, I will make those claws. Oh, I need branches. Oh. Okay, there's nothing to attack us down here, is there? Get some branches. So another one. I need five, was it? Oh, there's a branch. Come on. There we go. Good. I think it was five. I'll hurry up. There they go. Excellent. Yeah, because these do quite good area damage. I will get rid of all those bones. No, I won't. I will get rid of... I'm going to have to get rid of all the bones, aren't I? And I'm still over encumbered. What was the other thing I picked up? I got 50 weathered skulls. <laughs> An absolute crap ton of string. Split that, get rid of half of it. Split it again, get rid of half of that. Come on. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to drop that. Bit of a shame. Um, we're good. That doesn't cost anything. Yeah, I don't know about these wall paints, whether they're going to be useful to me. Let's get the bear claws on. Swap them with a bee. Arr. That look pretty good, don't they? Oh, damn. There's a thumbnail, I think. Let's run up. See if we can molest someone. Right, it's you. Get out of it. Right, they're not terribly good. Not terribly good. <laughs> right, get the shield up. Get the shield up. They weren't too bad. I actually got a lot of bleed on him. Got a lot of bleed on him. And, oh, look at this. Lots of heads that I don't want. Was that everyone, more or less? I think that was everyone. There was someone in the water. We'll ignore them. Let's look over here. I uh, don't want the stone cleaver, really. Bat skin, no. Pelts, claws. No. Nothing useful. I really want armour or better weapons, but not getting them. 
There's a Yog Temple. Looking lovely. Is there a chest over here? Yeah. Um, well, that's nice, isn't it? A folded bed. I don't, you know, I don't have the capacity to. I could take that, couldn't I? Is that going to be really heavy? All right, I'm over encumbered there. Get rid of some other stuff. Get rid of that club. I'm never going to use it. Okay, and I won't take the chimes. There was that woman in the water. There we go. Gained another level. And you had... Oh, rubbish. Acolyte. New journey unlocked. I don't know why. But I think we'll call it a day there. I don't think there's anyone else around here. But we can find a safe spot around the corner. Make a very quick camp. And I've got to remember about the sandstorms as well. Because if the sandstorms come, I'm done for, really. There's the unnamed city there, looking lovely. We'll go around here, we'll make a fire. And then we'll think about what to do in the next episode. There's the Tower of Bats. Yeah, so we don't want to go too much further north at the moment, because there's loads of hyenas around here. Let's get the claws up. <laughs> a lovely thumbnail. I'm sure that'd be very spectacular. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit embarrassed to die twice, but there you go. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again for the next one. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodnight. Okay then. Cheerio.